family and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time checking out one of our videos, be sure to subscribe. So today we're going to be doing a craft project. I received a wine box from one of my co-workers. She works at a winery and they actually just kind of give out the boxes to customers and I asked her to grab one for me. We're going to take it and we're going to use the box as a centerpiece on my kitchen table. So we're going to stain it with one of my favorite stains and then we're actually going to create some decorations for Valentine's Day to put inside the box. So I hope you guys enjoy this craft. So I'm going to lay some newspapers down so I don't ruin the tablecloth. And I don't, I just use my junk mail. I don't have any newspapers, I don't get newspapers, so I just use the mail that is junk. We're going to go ahead and start staining and to be honest with you, this is my first time staining, so we're doing this together if you've never stained before. So the <clears throat> stain that we're going to be using is this classic gray. You can see it's already used, um, but this is the one that we're using and I do have an extra one just in case we run out. coat of stain on I'm going to head going to go ahead and let it dry I didn't do one side of the box because there's a sticker I'm um, still on it and I'm actually going to have to remove the sticker with a blow dryer um, and then once that's all done we will finish up the stains so for the decor that we're going to put inside the box I am going to wrap these books and some wrapping paper that I got from the dollar store and these are books from my library the dollar store also has books there for a dollar that you can use in case you don't want to actually use the books that you have. So let's wrap these books up. So if you're loving this craft video so far, go ahead and give me a like down below. cover the books is I'm making book covers. It's like we're going back to elementary school, middle school, when you had to cover your textbooks. That is what I'm doing. It's super easy to do. I just use wrapping paper. I'm just using this wrapping paper and making cute book covers. So when you're making the book cover, you want to measure your paper that you're using to cover the book a little bit longer, enough to fold it over this way into the book and enough to fold it in this way into the book and give yourself a little bit extra just in case. You can always cut more off, but you can't add more. I've been waiting for this. The last piece to this is going to be twine. So we're going to stack them like so and we're going to take twine, which I picked up this twine from the dollar store also, or the dollar tree, excuse me. So we're going to make a nice bow around the books. It's going to hold the books together. Now that we have the bow all tied, we're just going to shimmy it to the front because this is the part that we're going to see in our 
wine box for our decorations. And you can always do the option of, you know, drawing hearts or writing, you know, cute little things on the side of your books to add more little love to them. So now that we've finished this one, we'll definitely see you tomorrow when the stain dries. So now that the stain is dried on the box, we're gonna go ahead and finish up this project. So I have had this like string of hearts for a while and I just haven't decided what I wanted to do with it yet. So I came up with this amazing idea. I got this vase at Walmart and I picked up some sticks in our backyard and I'm going to hang the hearts from the sticks with some of the twine that I got from the Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take pieces of the hearts and hang them from the tree. So I've took, taken off about five hearts and now I'm going to cut some of the twine to hang up from the tree. See what it looks like. Super cute. Let's go ahead and do another. finish the whole project we're gonna wrap everything up and we're gonna put it on our table and to see what it looks like I hope you enjoy this project Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we post our next video. If you want to see what goes on in my daily life, or you want to see where I get my inspiration from for some of these projects, you can check out my Pinterest account or my Instagram account. I'm going to link those down in the description below. Thanks for watching. Bye! Hi family and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do a craft project. <laughs> it's a forever. Subscribe. I hope you enjoy this product. Ugh, no. I hope you enjoy this project. Make sure to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when we need, we, we, I'll put the link down in the notification below. You can check out my Pinterest. I, what was I saying? Put the link down in this description, link down in this description. I'll put the link in the description below. That's all I got right now.